What is food? For many, food is just something that fills you up. While that is true, there are other parts to it. Food nourishes us, satisfies our hunger, and it is essential for survival. Food has the power to tell a story. It can tell who you are and where you come from. Food changes from culture to culture and can re represent individual countries. Many families tend to have that one signature dish, that dish that shows up at any holiday or family reunion. If that dish was not there, it would not be the same. That dish has the ability to say something about the family and the culture. Thinking of that dish appearing on that dinner table can lead to reminiscing the moments shared between family and friends. Through the course of this project, I have done research on nutrition while learning about fatal diseases caused by poor, unhealthy lifestyles brought on by lack of proper nutrition. I have also learned that home-cooked meals have the ability to strengthen relationships between family and friends. I am Maddie McSweeney, and this is my senior project. Nutrition is the study of nutrients in food and how the body uses the nutrients to carry out even the simplest functions. Nutrition refers to the relationship between diet, health, and disease being the overall well-being of an individual. Many people struggle with poor nutritional diets due to lack of knowledge or lack of resources. Nutrition is more important in today's world than ever before. There are more diseases that have been proven to be caused by improper diets like diabetes, heart disease, and stroke which can lead to many devastating long-term effects. These effects can impair the quality of life and cost many individuals thousands of dollars. Type 2 diabetes is a life-threatening disease. In fact, it is the seventh leading cause of death since 2015. It affects 9.4% of U.S. Americans. By addressing diabetes, other health problems such as heart disease, stroke, nerve and kidney diseases, and vision loss are limited. Another life-threatening disease that can develop from poor nutrition is heart disease. According to the World Health Organization, heart disease is one of the top 10 causes of death for people around the world. The heart is one of the body's most important organs. Its function is to pump blood out of the chambers through a network of vessels to the core, limbs, and brain. The heart of one with heart disease is a different story. Maintaining a healthy heart is important throughout one's whole lifetime. It is easier to develop good habits at a young age, so developing those habits now takes a lot less time and energy than it would down the road. This is why it is so important for individuals to keep their heart healthy. With a poor diet and little exercise, the risk of heart disease is much higher. For my project, I have taught myself how to cook. I decided that this would be a very useful skill to have now because I will have to use it my whole life and I may not have the time or motivation to learn the skill down the road. Since I have seen people cook for a while, I thought that it was something I could teach myself. I have reached my hours by cooking, grocery shopping, meal prepping, and finding recipes to cook. This has been very rewarding as I have made some great meals that I have been able to share with people. I have also faced some challenges where I have completely failed at the most basic things but I have also had many big successes. As my community connection, I have met with Mrs. Pelletier to organize a chop competition for her class. Um, I had helped plan the ingredients and became part of one of the teams in this competition. I worked with the other students to create an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. This was a good way to demonstrate how useful it is to be able to cook with limited ingredients, which I have had to do a lot during this project. The biggest thing that I have learned is that food has the power to bring people together. Coming together and sharing a meal with friends or family enables us to stay connected with the ones we love. Although it is not the food itself, it is sitting down and sharing that meal together and having that undistracted time in our lives. Many people have a lot going on in their daily lives. This is why it is so important to take advantage of the meal time that is able to be shared. Try your best to limit the distractions. Put down the phone, turn off the TV, and just be surrounded by those that you love. Chances are you are not sitting down to eat with complete strangers. So take advantage of this time and communicate face to face. Many times I would cook dinner for my family and we would sit down at the table and have a family dinner. We would talk to each other and we would share, we would share things about our day. We would make jokes with each other and we would tell each other stories. 
This allowed more family time during the week through our busy lives. Even though we would have a lot of other things going on, we would stop and enjoy this time together. I had even been able to share these moments with my friends a few times. I would invite them over and then I would end up cooking so that I could reach my hours. They would hang out in the kitchen with me and help me cook and then we would sit down at the table and eat dinner together. Learning to cook has taught me many positive things. I have learned that life takes a lot of preparation and that going into things unprepared can lead to a big disaster. I have also learned the importance of connecting with those that you love and how home cooked meals can help encourage that time with family and friends undistracted. Finally, I learned that health I finally I learned about the health benefits that cooking rather than eating out or buying processed foods give. No one is born a great cook and one learns by doing. And that is exactly what I have done. I am so glad that I have had these experiences that have taught me a lot about myself and others. Any questions?